Folks, this is a big one. This is Stranded Sails, a new open world farming and exploration game. Uh, this is out on October the 17th for PC and console, and thanks to Rokoplay for giving me a preview key to check this out. And if you want an early taste of this, you can download the free prologue, uh, which is a standalone demo that shows you the basic gameplay. Um, so there's a lot of Stardew D Valley DNA in this game, of course, um, but with the irresistible premise of exploring islands, uh, with the ultimate goal of building a new ship and escaping back to your dreary landlubber existence. But why exactly do we need a new ship? Well, there's a storm brewing, and I don't like the look of this. What's going on? Have you managed to get a hold of that bird? There was a parrot. This is a whole situation. Oh, it flew away. Well, I'm, I am sure of why. As you've noticed, the weather has taken a turn for the worse, and that bird flew off somewhere. Which means there must be land nearby. That would be good news, if we weren't supposed to see land in about two weeks. I hope we did not go off course somewhere along the way. Also, the storm gathering right above us makes me very anxious. Quick, Pippo! Go and seek shelter in our cabin. Yes, I've given my character the name Pippo. Deal with it. The storm intensifies, trying to tear the ship apart. Powerful waves toss it around like a nutshell. Planks are creaking, ready to burst. Tentacles are appearing everywhere. Finally, the ship crashes against something massive, and blackness prevails. Right, so we've landed on our first island. Ugh. What happened? The last thing you can remember is you falling, then breaking through the waves. You are so exhausted. What might have happened to your father and the crew? You should investigate this island. Maybe you can find them. Right, here we go, here we go, here we bloody go. So, um, you can actually skip... This is basically the starting point if you skip the intro, which is possible. Um, but there's actually quite a lengthy sort of um, opening section, about 10-15 minutes worth, where you actually get on board the ship and go sailing for a bit and meet the existing crew. But we'll be doing that in the course of the video. Hopefully we'll be able to do um, several videos in this, uh, make it into a series, if you guys watch, like, approve and all that. And may as well um, gratuitously mention my Patreon at this point if you want to support us. Keep us going and finding the best games around for you to play. Hello, mate. Hey. Oh, it's Sven. Oi, Pippo. So I was right to see you laying over there. Sorry if I didn't help you. I only just got up myself. I'm sure you noticed this as well, but where, wherever we are doesn't seem like the place we were setting out for. This is a little too tropical for a snow-covered tundra. Damn, I'm dizzy. My head feels like a cracked walnut. You don't look so good either. You should eat an apple from this barrel. Yes, so my energy bar is at the top. So let's chow on down a couple of... You look a lot better now. Go. Good thing we took that barrel with us. Always be aware of your energy, Pippo. We wouldn't want you to pass out in the middle of nowhere. Ha ha. My head still hurts. I guess something hit me when we crashed. But don't worry, I'll be fine. Just like you, I have no clue what happened to the others. I can see that a big part of our beautiful ship stranded on the island next to us. Our best bet to find the others would be to get over there and check it out. We should build a raft. How about I gather some of these shredded planks while you look for the other stuff? We need a sail, a mast, and something to tie it all together. Let's eat another apple. We must, might as well get our bar to the top. So yes, um, it, there's a lot of crew members to meet. That's Sven, the dreamy boyfriend, presumably. I am, well, I get, I've got to choose a male or female for this. I've chosen Pippo, because she's cool, probably. Right, anyway, let's run around the place. This will use up a bit of stamina. Aha! Rope. That's something to tie things together. Torn sail. Oh, hello. I did actually pick it up. <laughs> yeah, pick it up. There we go. Now you can use um, keyboard and mouse for this or uh, joypad. Unless you're on switching, which you obviously have to use the switch. <laughs> yeah. Right, here we go. Torn sail. This must be part of a ship's sail. It is still big enough to hold wind for a smaller boat or raft. And we can check our inventory if we want. I think I recommend, um, if you, and the whole sort of control thing, I do recommend joypad, that seems to be better. Otherwise, if you use mouse, I mean, that just flaps about the place and gets in the way. So, yeah, don't want that. Broken mast. And there's the ship. Oh, <laughs> zoom in on the ship. On the front of the ship. There's a technical term for that. I think it's the front of the ship. It wants me to inspect all the items. That's fine. Stranded sail, talk to Sven. Right, where is he? There he is. Wheezing away. Apple. Hey, hey Landlubber! Great, you found all the parts! He's looking a bit distressed, isn't he? Oh man, my head hurts. 
I still can't really see straight. I think we'd be better off with you assembling the raft. We don't want it to look all crooked and such. I have put some rough instructions on that pile of planks. Yeah, there's a certain, as usual in these games, there's a certain amount of, I would do it myself, but I can't be bothered. You have found all items necessary to build the raft. To build the raft, you need the following items. Yep, all those. And boop! She's a fast builder, all right. <laughs> oh, Elan Lubber, that's a fine looking raft you built there. I hope it's not just because my eyes aren't working right. Let's see if that thing's solid enough to carry us to the other side. Jump on the raft and we're off. There we go. Are you ready to leave? So we're leaving the first island. Oh my, what a ride! Oh, you dirty bugger! Your raft sure wasn't the sturdiest, but at least we made it. Although the raft journey didn't do my head any good. I think I will stay here for a while. Right. Just skipping past that a little bit. I don't necessarily want to do all the dialogue in this, just so we can actually see the game more. Right, let's have a bit of a run around the place. So this is a much bigger island, by the looks of it. Nothing down there. Nice flowers. Again, in, in, the, in these games, it's often about the attention to detail. Like little flowers blowing in the wind and disturbing the flowers blowing in the wind because, haha, I am the flower disturber. Ooh, there we go. I think I'm... Yeah, I can, I can sprint without it using too much energy. Enter the shipwreck. There we go. Aha, some more people. There's my father. Let's talk to you first. Oh, it's Viola. Oh, Pippo. I'm so glad to see you're okay. We were really worried about you and the rest of the crew. I have managed to only hurt my arm a little, but your father, Charles. Dot, dot, dot. He was hurt badly during the storm. Oh, hang on. I actually talked to her again. Ahoy! Ouch! Ahoy, my child. It warms my heart to see you alive and well. After our unexpected misadventure, I could only hope for your well-being. I was a little worried about our course when we were on the high seas, and it seems like there was a reason for it. Uh, this place we stranded on does not look like the frigid landscape we wanted to... Why Why does everyone want to go to the horrible tundra? This is nice. This is a nice tropical... Anyway. <clears throat> it seems like the crew has been split up, and as you see... Ow! I have not emerged unscathed. Anyway, let's um, just skip on a little bit. I'm sure sooner or later... Blah, blah, blah. Right. So we do need to get a bit of rest in the beddy poos. So let's go over here. And this will also, like apples, restore my energy. Do, 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 do. Let's sleep the night away because sod the night. Ha! <sighs> Feeling a lot better now. Ahoy, my child! You! You look well rested! Sleeping will restore some of your energy. Whenever you feel exhausted, you, you should eat or take a nap. It seems we are stuck for a while. Before looking for others, we have to make sure we can survive here. We will need room to live and a steady source of food. I sent Viola to check the surrounding area. It seems to be usable as a campsite. Right, so it's time to do a bit of farming now. So essentially, we've got like a bunch of crew members, um, presumably stranded across several islands, and each one of those will presumably unlock new things like blacksmithery and stuff like that, because everyone's got a specialisation, which is something you discover in like the other tutorial section at the start. For now, I think all we need to do is get some farming action on the go. Oh, it's Dreamy Sven again. Hey, Landlubber! Fiola packed, oh, packed me up. <laughs> Picked me up at the beach. It's great to see her again. She is waiting for you over on that field. Said she'd look for a good spot to establish camp. Talk to her. Hello. It's, it's Fiola. I'm going to play her like a fiddle. Hiya! I'm, sh I'm up since the first sunlight. I'm so excited. Even if this is not the world wilderness we set out for, I'm just happy to be standing on a field again. It seems we'll be staying on this island for a while. This means we need a farming ground as steady source of food. Unfortunately, I can't be bothered to do it myself. Because of my arm, you know. Wink, wink. Right, okay, so she's going to give me some tools now. She's very, um, she's very happy to be on this tropical island. Right, no, no. right so we've got ourselves a little shovely poos. Now, there's a bunch of ways you can actually access things. There's like a couple of menu menus here. You will, you will later on be able to swap between menus, but not for now. Um, let's select the shovel and start digging. This does take quite a lot of energy. But let's do a nice neat field, because I'm nice and neat, I am. 
Holes! Oh, she's very pleased with my holes. This marks the first step in establishing our own little camp. Now it's time for you to sow the first seeds. Luckily, I managed to keep some of my seeds on me during the shipwreck. Here, take these corn seeds. Right, so now I need to select... I can select it by the quick wheel instead of that slow wheel. Which is there. Pop. Pop. And pop. Great job, Pippo! It looks like you have a green thumb. The next thing to do is water. Take this bucket. Bucket. You can use it to gather fresh water from the um, spring over there. Carry the filled bouquet over to your crops and water them. Shout out to Hyacinth. Wooden bucket. Right. Let's choose the bucket. Oh, we can't. Hang on. Do. There we go. That's more like it. I think you can, on the quick wheel at the bottom, you can only have one item from each category. Fill up the bucket. Run back to our crops. Don't spill the bucket. Actually, there's no, there's no danger of that. This is not desert skies. Water, water everywhere. Get in, get in me crops. Right, is that it? Hello. Well done, Pippo. Always remember, your crops will grow and ripen for as long as they have water. If the soil below them looks dry, they need more water. Most crops can go without it for a few days, but they will die. If you don't take care of them for too long. Now, all we can do here is wait for the corn to ripen. We should use this time to set up a cooking station. We also need something for the rest of us, but we will take care of that later. Sven told me you've some talent in building things. Hi, hi. That's great. Would you help me again? Yeah, okay. Right. So we, d we need to do a bit more salvaging by the looks of it. Don't want that bucket flapping about the place. Uh, gather one cooking pot. One kitchen utensil and one roasting pan. So we've got to go east again. Hi, Sven. Fire watching as usual. That's the run button. Yes. Hang on, let's um, check out the seed selection because it's telling me that in the bottom right. Hang on. Not that button. There we go. So we've only got one seed at the moment. But now we can swap between these categories if we so desire, which we probably don't. Right. Cooking pot. Let's try over to the east. There's bound to be something over here because we haven't been here yet. Ah, look. Saucy pan. I love how she rubs her hands every time she finds something. She's very excited. An old cooking pot. It seems to be a bit rusty. Right, we've got one. One of many things. Have a bit of a peek down here just in case. No, there's nothing there. Uh, there's no rotation, by the way, of the um, of the camera, but there is. Zoom! Right, is that a chest? What's going to be in here? Ah, perfect. I wonder if I've missed another chest, because I wasn't really paying that much attention to chests before. Oh, here we go, there's a pan. Pan! Now I will not be able to be shot. I think that's how it works. Anything else over here? Uh, God. Oh, God, this is actually this island's huge, isn't it? It's time to go back. Use a path up the plateau close to the shipwreck. So that's basically where we came from. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's more gunk in the, in the sea over there. Oh! Hey, actually, can you go out in the water? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Stamina bar is shaking away like that. Right, up we go. I am getting a bit tired. I'm below half energy now. But I like running around the place. Hiya, Pippo! You found all the utensils! Awesome! Go and complete building the cooking station. She's really ordering me about now. She, she stopped saying please. I can't help but notice. Right, so how do we actually do the building now, then? Ah. You have found all the items. Yep, 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 yep. Build. God, she's fast. She really does have a talent for it. Wow, Pippo. The cooking station looks great. Good job. Now you need some produce. Right. <laughs> She's telling me, wait for the crops to grow. Okay, so we can explore now. Or we can, we've can we got a choice. Explore the island, go to sleep, or talk to Farmer Fiola to wait for your crops to ripen. 
Let's have a bit of an explore then. Although, hang on. By the looks of it, I, pr I probably have exhausted myself. It may actually be wise to have a bit of a kip. There's my topless dad. It's a bit weird. He's watching me and all. Ah, energy back. Is this night time now? What happens if I actually wake up in the night? Oh, do I think I can? <laughs> right, anyway. I think I have time. Yeah, well, I've got the energy now, so let's have a bit of a, a poodle around here. I'm worried that the crops will take a few days to grow. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's, it's ripe. Okay. Well, let's have a bit of a look around, because we didn't get quite beyond here, did we? Just interested to see how much more island there actually is. Oh, there's another great big green plateau up there. Oh, I saw! A quest item that... Oh, God, we don't actually have the quest yet. <laughs> right, let's... um. Ho hopefully we haven't skipped up skipped something there, but... We might want to go back. Was there like a junction here? I think there was. I'm a bit of a peek. Anything over here? We're getting a bit... Uh, in it. A bit narrow. Quite, I'm not quite sure if we're going in a good direction here or not. It's huge! This island's huge! Oh, some more, some more old tut. Tomato seeds! Ooh! I'll have them. Uh-oh. Can we get around here? Oops. No. Alright. Back we go. Oh, hang on. Didn't get that either. Right. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay, on the way back I had a sleep, uh, and I discovered I can actually wake up in the middle of the night. So, oh god, the fire's out. Ah, lovely, lovely corn. Okay, so with open hands, I need to harvest. If you try to shovel them, you will just get the seeds back. Cob of corn! Freshly harvested corn! Sweet and filling! Get some more. Plenty. Oh, new seeds as well. Plenty of stuffs. And harvest your produce. Crops like potatoes and onions will not regrow after you harvest them and need to be planted again. Sometimes a crop will drop an extra seed when you harvest it. Plant it to expand your farm. Good. Right, let's talk to her. Oh, Pippo, those cobs look great. Filthy woman. It's an awesome feeling to hold something in your hands that you have earned all by yourself, right? I just love this feeling. Hehe. <laughs> it's why I became a farmer too. Now you're ready to put that cooking station to use. Right. Let's go. Let's cook up in the dark. <laughs> Select a recipe to cook or discover. Start cooking. Select a discovered recipe. Fill the cooking table with ingredients. Cook. Achievement unlocked. Cook. Let's do another one. Let's have corn for days. Now, can we do anything with the tomatoes? No, because we haven't discovered anything yet. Okay. That's fine by me. Check out the food selection. Right, hang on. Boop. Ah, here's a new one. Look. We have... That's all the food that we've got. Three, three corns. Select a food item. And eat! We've covered a tiny bit of energy. Hang on, I don't want that anymore. Hang on, let's select seeds. Oh, Pippo, I can smell the deliciousness from here. If you lack energy, just take a bite and you should be able to continue for a while. Should you find some other things, you can discover recipes on your own. Go and visit your father. Just one more second. One more thing we have to do. Let's do a bit of extra planting. In fact, we've got some tomato seeds as well, so let's do a little extra tomato planting. So, what's, what seeds have we got? We've got one corn and two tomato. You can go in there. 
bit more shovel action. Now let's get our seeds on. I suspect this selection stuff is probably easier with the mouse, but I'm going to stick to controller. Right, and you also need to do a bit of hot watering action, of course. Hot watering action. Do the bucket. Drink! Drink my wooden chum. And more. <laughs> Let's make sure it's a nice full bucket. I don't know if there's a capacity or not with this. There must be, mustn't there? Do they need watering? They do. Ah. I think the dusty the dusty look is a sort of um, bit of an indicator. Because it was giving off a little sort of cloud of steam. Dusty steam. Steamy dust. Anyway, that's all sorted that out. Now we need to ch talk to matey pie laddie madudas. Ignoring Sven. He's no longer fire watching, he's just ashes watching. Starting to creep me out, frankly. <coughs> Ahoy, my child! Did it go well with Fiola at the campsite? Oh, Pippo, that is extraordinary. You managed to set up a farming ground and a cooking station. I am really proud of you. As a father, it is great to see you grow and succeed, like a little bit of sweet corn. I am looking forward to what this adventure has in store for all of us. And that means you too, viewers, he said, breaking the fourth wall like a prick. But especially for you. One day you might be able to take care of your own crew. My child, I think you will have to represent me for a little while. The extent of my injuries is larger than I had anticipated. I will manage. <coughs> have no voice. You will just need to be there for the crew whilst I am tied to this bed. Quite literally. Oh, I've got a map. Hang on. A little bit of a mappy poos. So I can easily get back. Oh, that's useful. Keep your bags filled with food and use it to stay active on your trips. This island is enormous. Right, so we need to go find the crew as well. Okay, an old map of the area. It shows the most important landmarks. Use this tool to find your way around. Right, let's go outside first. Actually, let's go to bed. I'm fed up with the night. Let's wa don't water the bed. It'll look like I've pissed myself. And Charles will not be proud anymore. Right. Quick select. Where is it? In here? There it is. Ooh! So that's the... I think that was Tutorial Island on the left. Now we are on Big Island. Explore the beast east of the shipwreck. So we've, we've done a bit of that already. 60% discovered. Ooh! And you can press y to, y to return to camp. Oh, hello! Oh, look at all these islands! And you? We can call that one Crab Island, I think. That one's Bifurcation Al um, <laughs> Island. That one's Rocky Island, predictably enough. And that one's Tree E Island. This one's Hearing Aid Island. Right, let's go. Do some more exploration. Although we've already got the tomatoes. Oh, look, I love, the, love those little turtles popping up out of the sand. They're really cool. Ooh, hello. And another tool. Tongs. It will help to craft basic components. Fair enough. Holy shit, we actually are getting a lot of stuff now. A heavy hammer for workshops, apparently. We haven't found any more... Oh. 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 So that's that, just that first little bit. Hmm. So that's a bit of a dead end. But there was a um, some suspicious looking bushes here. I wonder if we can actually get past those somehow. I don't think we've probably got the right tools for this. D don't suppose we can... No. No digging of the bushes. I haven't really got anything else. Put the map back on. Let's properly go east now. I'm not sure if we can actually get out on top of this. Maybe you can somewhere. Oh, that was a rock. Right, I've got to be careful about uh, my energy, but I do actually have some sweet corn, so that should keep us going for a bit longer. This is where we were before, the little narrow bit, but we didn't go east from there. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, my lad. 
Oh, it's the, it, it, he's a miserable prick. It's Logan. Oh, we don't like him. Oh, it's you, Pippo. Good to see a familiar face. After the ship broke into pieces, I held onto a plank until I was... I was actually a bit more friendly this time. Until I was washed ashore. How is it going? Are you with the others? Oh, you already set up shop. It'll be best if I join you, wouldn't it? Let's return to the camp. I'm sure I can help you guys out. Um... Well, I don't think there's anything else we can do yet. I think we're blocked off by that bush. I think that's the next place we need to go. So let's let's go back. Pippo! Thank you for rescuing me. Give me a minute to get myself composed. I'm enjoying the fire. Logan and Sven together at last. Talk to Charles. I didn't need my sweet corn in the end. I've still got that in the sack. That's safe. Hello, mate. Ahoy, Pippo! You found Logan! That's great news! I'm sure that you will be one to reunite our crew in the end, you being the protagonist and all that. Logan will know a lot of things about how to consolidate our camp. Please, my child, talk to him! What was doing? I, really should, I should have a kip again, but... Oh, he's gone! Sven must have chased him off. They're vying for my affection. Other than Logo, who, Logan, who doesn't give a toss. Now, they're growing sweetly. I, okay, I've, I've literally just got to find him. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. He's outstanding in his field. Oh, hello. <laughs> I accidentally looked at the map, but shush. Mmm, Pippo. This is a fine start you all made here. But I think there's something essential missing. You have your father's cabin, but we also need a roof above our heads. Come on, Pippo, show me what you've got, you filthy bugger. You first things we'll need are tools to build a crafting station. If we've got that, we can create some basic building materials. I'll create the foundation for our crafting station. You'll search the debris on the beach for the tools we've lost during the crash. Go, Pippo, and let me do my part. I'm putting on this really sort of miserable, sarcastic voice for him, even though he's actually said nothing miserable or sarcastic. It's only because in the in the um, in the uh, in, in the intro section he's a bit grumpy. But now I just sound like I'm making him a right prick. I'm not. What's this? You have found all items necessary to build the crafting station? No, I haven't. What do we need? Wood saw, simple tongs, and heavy... Oh, hang on a second. I have got them all. Those are the things I found out east. You should talk to Logan... Okay, yeah. <laughs> I just got told off by the crafting station. <laughs> Great, you finished the crafting station. It's not the workplace of my dreams, but it'll do, I guess. Now he's getting sarcastic. I've checked out the campsite whilst you were gone. I think it was best if we expanded the campsite up to that plateau, if we want to settle down. The path up there is blocked by that pesky thornbrush. Oh, we know all about the thornbrush. Or bush. Um, I found this worn down axe while gathering materials. See if you can use it to remove it. Oh, what tree? I need trees as well. Okay. Excellent. Let's get that on. Hop. Right, so now we can actually get a bit further. Ooh. Right, so nearly there. Oh, there we are. Yep. I'm just going to eat some corn. I am a bit peckish. Um, let's quickly go back to our axe. Take this. And that. Also this. Yay. And we have access to our new area. The upper camp. Woohoo! Well, this sounds like a very good place to, to pause. Um, hopefully we will pick this up again in new episodes if you guys like this. Um, literally like if you want. Press the like button. Uh, and we shall hopefully continue this adventure in more good, fat, delicious episodes of... I should really just stop. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, do check out my Patreon if you want to support us, keep us going and all that. And just or just subscribe and click the subscribe button. And there's something about a bell which I never quite understand, but there's a bell if you want to go and hunt for that. What do we need to do here? Chop down a tree. Well, on that cliffhanger, on the tree cl chopping cliffhanger, let's let's stop then. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Chop. <laughs>